Hello and welcome to Safe Secure Surfing's WebRTC leak test for NordVPN. In this video, we're going to be testing to see how well NordVPN protects us from a WebRTC leak. We're going to be using three different websites, ipleak.net, browserleaks.com, and whatismyipaddress.com. So without any further delay, let's go over to our first website. Here we are at ipleak.net. I've turned off NordVPN so we can do a comparison before NordVPN was launched and after NordVPN is launched. This is the first of three websites that we're going to look at. So here we can see that it's displaying my true IP address as well as my IPv6 address. So now we'll go over to our second of the three websites. So here we are at browserleaks.com forward slash webrtc. In this one, it's showing my local IP address as well as my public IP address and then my IPv6 address as well. So we're seeing the same or similar addresses to what I had on the previous website, ipleak.net. Next, we'll move over to whatismyipaddress.com. Here we are at the third website, whatismyipaddress.com forward slash webrtc dash test. This one is showing my local IP address and then my IPv6 address as well. So all of these three websites have been run without NordVPN being turned on. So we'll go and turn on NordVPN and we'll see how this compares after NordVPN and if it's protecting us from a WebRTC leak. So I've just turned on NordVPN. I've selected a server out of the United States and here it's giving me my new IP address as well. So we'll be able to use this as a reference check when we go to the three different websites ipleak.net, browserleaks.com and whatismyipaddress.com. We'll be using this to show that we're not having any web RTC leaks. So here we are at ipleak.net. When we look under our, the IP addresses that are being shown under WebRTC detection, we're not showing a displaying of the IPv6 address. The IP address that's being shown is the one that we've selected through NordVPN. So this one here is looking good. So we'll go over and take a look at browserleaks.com next and see how this compares as well. So I've loaded up the second of three websites, browserleaks.com forward slash webrtc. When we take a look at the IP address detection, we're showing the local IP address, and then the public IP address is the same as the one that we selected when we engaged NordVPN, and we're not showing an IPv6 address leak at all. So we've come to our third website, whatismyipaddress.com forward slash webrtc dash test. In this one, we're showing the same local IP address, and it's not displaying our public IP address or our IPv6 address. Addresses. So we'll take all of this information, I'll combine it, and then we will discuss the result. Alright, so I've compiled all of the results using the three different websites, ipleak.net, browserleaks.com, whatismyipaddress.com. So as would be expected, uh, beforehand, all of the three different websites were showing uh, either the real location shown for my IPv6 address, for my public IP address, or the local IP address. After NordVPN was launched, we took a... we took another look at the three websites, ipleak.net, browserleaks.com, and whatismyipaddress.com. And across the board, NordVPN was protecting our local IP address, our public IP address, and our IPv6 address. So we were not showing a WebRTC leak at all with the three different websites. So this looks really good. Uh, NordVPN has passed this test with flying colors. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, we hope you go out and have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching the video today.